Okay, my name is Arthur Wassum. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and it was Christmas of 2017, and I heard a voice that said, I want you to write a story about me. Um, I thought everyone here knows your story. Uh, <laughs> um, well, the voice said, well, I want you to write a story about my parents. I said, okay, except for their names, I really don't know anything about your parents. The voice said, I'll help you with this. Um, so this is a story based on the most famous family of all time. 2,000 years before the Kardashians, a young couple meet in a harsh, occupied desert. After becoming pregnant by supernatural means, she must convince her fiancé to continue with the marriage, deal with her parents, walk miles through an invading army, and bring the child into the world. It's a prequel to the greatest story ever told. The title of the movie, of course, is The Birth. It's clueless meets wild for the tonal comps. Once upon a time, there was a teenage girl living the life expected, not ever dreaming anything different would ever happen to her. Every day she would meet her friends. They'd walk and talk and play. She would do chores to help out in the community whenever possible. One night, she had a dream where she met an angel. Uh, he told her she was chosen to fulfill a prophecy and that her grandmother's sister's daughter was pregnant in a city like four days away. Because of that, she gets her friends together to go on a road trip, inviting her new boy in town, Yosef, who had just got there to travel with them. Her friends ditched her in Jerusalem because, well, let's face it, it's Jerusalem. It's a big city. You can play the hummus for like a buck. Okay, um, so anyway, um, Yosef travels with her the rest of the way. There he finds out her grandmother's sister, Zadi, is actually pregnant, and she's asked to stay with her. Because of that, Yosef returns alone, but promises to come back every few weeks. First time he returns, he brings her father with him, just to check things out. Um, a relationship begins, and Mary and Yosef, well, and she tells him that she's pregnant. Well, he has a dream of his own, and they end up getting married, with him agreeing to silently adopt the child of his own. Until finally, it's decreed that the stupid Romans, now these people, they were metal in the desert. Oh, by the way, did I mention Joseph was a carpenter in the desert? And they don't have a lot of wood in the desert. So once I looked at this through their eyes, it became kind of, that's why it became a rom-com. Until finally, it's decreed that stupid Romans, like I said before, they had to go to Bethlehem like 10 days away. Eight months pregnant, they journeyed to the town, now filled with people because everybody wanted to have their baby born in Bethlehem. It might be the Messiah. Anyway, the only place they could find to have a baby born was in a manger, which the innkeeper had cleaned out, hoping that a tax collector or maybe a um, uh, you know census taker could stay there. But it turns out that it was actually where Mary gave birth to her child. Anyway, this is a rom-com. It's a feature about the most famous family of all time. It's a prequel to The Greatest Story of the World. It's not a faith movie. It's not a Muslim movie about their prophet. It's not a Christian movie about their savior. It's not a Jewish movie about the Messiah. It's a teenage love story about two people who we know very, very well.